guys welcome back to another vlog if you're new here hi my name is Cassidy I'm 24 years old I am a registered nurse and I make all sorts of different content from nursing lifestyle vlogs kind of everything in between so if you like that type of content be sure to subscribe because it really supports my channel I don't know whether this is gonna be a few days vlog or a week-long vlog we'll kind of just see how it goes but I'm headed to my brother's graduation dinner. He just graduated from college, the community college, with his associate's degree. So we're going to celebrate tonight, and I'm super excited. I did my hair and my makeup for the first time in quite some time. So I figured I'd show you guys my outfit, purse, all the things, and we'll get ready to go. So I am most definitely keeping it pretty casual tonight. Um, for a top, I just have this brown tank. From Amazon nothing special and then I just have a pair of like older Hollister jeans and my Burks and then for earrings I just have my Lily clasp earrings which I absolutely love and we're just keeping it super casual um, it's super hot here in Arizona so I feel like it's really hard to find anything that I really like to wear because I end up being so hot and sweating through everything so Figured I'd also show you the purse I'm gonna wear. This purse is one that I absolutely love. I've showed it in a couple videos before and it is from Amazon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's head off to dinner. My best friend. guys or shall I say good evening it's currently at five o'clock I just woke up for work I think the last time that I updated on this vlog was we went to graduation dinner for my brother like two weeks ago we're gonna fast forward two weeks to now and pick up where we left off um, last week was 4th of July I didn't really end up doing very much because I was coming off of a stretch of two night shifts um, I am officially back on nights so I figured I would film this is my first four day stretch of nights I'm really nervous about it. I feel pretty motivated today and I'm gonna try and stay positive and open-minded. I know it's gonna be challenging, but I'm gonna do my best to film the next four days in the day like following my shift. I'm not always the best filming when I am working just because I feel like I don't like to film at work for HIPAA reasons and privacy reasons. I don't want people to know where I work, but I'm gonna do my best the next couple days to film when I can, whether it be me getting ready for work or packing my lunches, letting you know how my shift went and how early I like to leave for work. I usually, I live about 35 minutes from the hospital that I work at. So I like to leave at least an hour early. It's currently Saturday, January. Did I really just say January? That's not what I meant to say, oh my God. Obviously, night shift has me twisted. It is currently July 8th, so Saturday, and I work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The thought of working four shifts doesn't seem that bad, and then when I think about, like, I will be working all the way up until Wednesday, and it's Saturday today, it makes it feel so much worse. So I'm just going to say the four shifts. But we're going to go ahead and get ready. I just washed my hair this afternoon before I went to bed, so I think I'm going to curl it so it lasts me, like, a couple of days, and I don't really have to do much with it after today. And yeah, let's just get ready for work. I figured I'd bring you guys up to speed with how I'm feeling about night shift. I only worked, start of night shift, I worked like Friday on days and then had to bounce back into nights. I only had like one day to switch last week and I worked Sunday and Monday night, which was like right in going into the 4th of July. 
So I will say, working the two night shifts, not bad at all. I feel like I was able to switch back pretty quickly, um, but a little nervous about this stretch just because I haven't done this many days in a row in like such a long time. And I think I honestly am gonna struggle a bit, but like I said earlier, I'm trying to stay optimistic because that is gonna make me be able to get through it. If I'm just upset about it and negative the whole time, it's gonna make the four days a lot longer. And just even in regards to being on night shift, um, if you know from my previous nursing videos last year, I actually left postpartum. One of the biggest reasons being because I had been on nights for over a year and a half with still no day shift position in sight. And I honestly was really hesitant about sharing anything when I decided to take this new job back in labor and delivery because at first when I applied for the position originally, it was a day shift position. And then when I went to interview, they said, you know, like we really start everyone on nights and then we transition to days. So I knew going into it that I was going to have to do nights. I was told about a year and I was like really hesitant about it because I just wasn't really sure. I've had such a better experience. I don't want to go into detail and talk negatively about the place I worked at before. But I will say I've had a much better experience with just like the culture of the unit and the help and support that I have at this new place. So I will say that I've gotten pretty lucky. I had 12, almost 12 weeks of orientation. Oh, almost 12 weeks of orientation. And then they actually kept me on days for 12 weeks. Um, so a full six months on day shift when I first started on this unit and then now that it's July, um, I started there in January. I am on the night shift schedule now and I'm hoping that night shift transition to day shift is based on your hire date. So since I've already technically been on this unit for six months, I'm kind of hoping that it won't take me more than six months to a year to get two days. but trying to stay optimistic about it I know that from like I said my previous videos what I talked about night shift was that it completely turned my life upside down and it definitely does but I want to oh my goodness what is my problem today I really want to try to have a better relationship with night shift this time around I think one of my big struggles working at where I was at before is that I just didn't really feel like I came from a unit where I was the first new grad that they hired in a really long time. There wasn't really anyone that was going through that new grad transition nursing process on my unit at the same time as me and I feel like that made it extremely challenging. Whereas the unit I'm at now has a lot of other nurses that are about my age and only have maybe a year to two years of labor and delivery experience just like me. There are definitely more seasoned nurses there as well but coming from where I was before there is just like so it's like such a night and day difference just when it comes to the culture of the unit and there are people on my unit that don't have kids and that was something that I struggled with as well. I just felt like I didn't have anyone that I could relate to and I didn't have anyone that um, was also trying to get through these night shifts just like me other than parents that were other than the moms. I'm not saying anything in a bad way about night shift nurses that are moms and saying that I can't relate to them but it is a little bit more challenging when you don't have kids and you don't have that responsibility like people just think that because you don't have kids you don't have a busy life and I don't know that was something that I really struggled with because I am in school currently I wasn't in school at the time but my life is busy outside of work and I I just I have a life outside of work too and I feel like this new place has just been a much better experience. It is high risk, so it's a lot more demanding, I feel like, at times. But overall, it's been a really good experience. And yeah, I'm going to finish curling my hair because I don't think you probably want to hear me rant anymore. But all in all, I am 
excited to see what the next year brings me. Um, I currently am just in my online classes for nurse practitioner school. And then um, starting in September, I will be transitioning to one day a week where we also have our online portion of the class, but then there is one day a week where we meet to do more like hands-on skills. And I'm really excited for that. I feel like I haven't really felt like I've been in school just because I've been doing a lot of the busy work with like the evidence-based practice classes and writing a lot of papers. And I'm really excited, although I may regret this later on, but I'm excited to go in person and maybe meet some friends that also are obviously going through this program. To this day, I'm really good friends with the people that I met in nursing school. There was five of us, four of us, Ben, Anthony, Kayla, Joe, me. So five of us and we still hang out. Not all the time, but quite often we try to make plans to all hang out. We're all like in relationships now and we, some of us are engaged and one of us is having a baby next week. So our lives have changed quite a bit, but I'm really excited to go in person because I really like being able to connect with other people that are going through the same things as me and I'm looking forward to that aspect of it. So anyways, I'm gonna end this off right here while I finish doing my hair and then I'll check in with you guys either when I'm doing my makeup or when we're getting it dressed for work. Okay, the pre-shift anxiety is definitely setting in since I haven't worked in like a couple days. I feel like when I have a long stretch of days off, I get like super nervous because I don't ever know what I'm gonna walk into and you don't know how busy it's gonna be, but I figured I'd show you guys a little outfit check. Birthday specialist shirt is from Amazon. I've got my figs, high rise joggers on, and then my hokas. And then always on my wrist, I wear my Cape Cod bracelet, my Apple watch, and then a gimme hair tie because I usually end up putting my hair up within like 20 minutes of being at work. But at least we got a little bit of something for the ponytail for the next couple days. We're gonna go ahead and pack my lunch now. And I already ate something when I first woke up. I had like a breakfast sandwich that I needed to get rid of. That was from my meal prep from last week. So let's pack our lunch, make some coffee, fill up the water bottle, do all the things. Okay, we are getting the coffee maker ready now. So I'm gonna put in my Nespresso pod. I have the Altizia ones right now. I like these ones so much. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but um, I put this in here. I have the Nespresso Virtual Plus and I love this coffee maker so much. I really only drink coffee on the days that I'm working, so I feel like it works perfect because I just need it when I need it. And yeah, um, I'm gonna also put some sweet cream in my little milk frother, and we will get the coffee going. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pack up the lunch box now. So here it is, actually. I've already got a couple snacks in there. I've got one of these Mr. Chomps beef sticks. They are the best. And then I just like to keep a couple granola bars in there just because you never know what you're going to have time for. I have these granola minis. And then what I'm going to add to it, oh, I also have these. Um, these peanut butter crackers, which I've had literally since I was a kid. Let's go ahead and throw a banana in here because I love to have a banana like early on in the night. Um, then we're gonna put the meal prepped meal in. Let's have my meal prep that I made. I made this black peppered chicken from the defined dish cookbook and I made it this morning it gave me actually four meals exactly which is perfect since I'm working the next four days so we're gonna put that in there I don't need to worry about silverware because I already have it at work and then I can just throw it away I'm gonna put some cookies in here um, like I said I already had breakfast and I usually end up just microwaving one of the meal prepped breakfast sandwiches that I make. And that's pretty much gonna be it for the lunch box. Maybe I'll throw this apple in there. Oh, you know what, Never mind. it's squishy. So we're gonna throw that away. That's pretty much all I pack for my lunch. I have my meal prep meal, a couple snacky snacks, and then I've got a banana, and that'll probably be good. This will get me through the 12 hours, and then sometimes I like to go down to the cafeteria. If we have to go, we have to go before midnight, and maybe I'll go down there. Sometimes I like to get fruit from down there. Um, I actually have some fruit. I should have cut it up. I'll do that tomorrow, but we're gonna get our coffee together now. All right, now that the coffee has been brewed, I'm just gonna add ice to my little Yeti here. I love this thing of 
coffee so much. And then we're gonna put our frothed milk on top. Not anything special. I don't end up putting any like syrup in it or anything just because um, the syrup goes bad, I feel like, before I get through all of it. So I just usually do the sweet cream and then whatever coffee I'm in the mood for at that time. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our little lid on and I like to use reusable straws, so we're just gonna throw a straw in here and we are ready to go. Other than I just have to go down to the car really quick and grab my Stanley cup, fill that up with water and we'll be on the road. All right, we are officially all packed up, ready to go for work. I've got my backpack on. Honestly, all I keep in my backpack is like my stethoscope, my jacket, wallet, keys, and then I have like my pens and everything for work, and then obviously some ibuprofen. I will do what's in my work bag if you guys are interested in that. Just let me know in the comments down below. But then I've got my lunchbox and both of my drinks. I always feel like I'm like moving into work whenever I'm going to work. I don't know why I feel the need to bring all this stuff, but I do end up using the majority of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog right here for now, and I will either check in with you guys when I get to work or the end of my 12 hour shift. So we shall see. It's always so crazy when I end this off because I'm like, am I gonna pick this up in 12 more hours? Am I gonna pick it up in an hour? You just never know. So I will see you guys when I see you. Hey guys, I look like an absolute mess. So pardon my appearance, but I just finished night two out of four. It's not wanting to focus either because it's kind of dark in my room. I've got my blackout curtains all dark. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get some of my homework done. I don't know if this is gonna focus because it's so dark in here, but yeah, um, the last two nights haven't been too bad. Um, I am getting very, very tired though. I will say um, night two was definitely harder than night one. And I think night four, I'm probably never gonna be able to do four in a row again. Um, not even like I said, like it's been bad, but I'm just like already so exhausted. And the fact that I have to go do another two nights is just insane to me. I was originally supposed to be on for five days in a row and I got it cut down to four. There's no way I could have done that. Like, oh my God, I'm already so exhausted. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just keep it short and sweet here just because I'm about ready to go to bed and I am so exhausted. So I will talk with you guys sometime soon. Okay, hello you guys. I think it's been at least two days since I updated on all this. My third night ended up being absolute crap. We had eight unscheduled sections that ended up having to go back. My patient that I had, I obviously for HIPAA reasons don't wanna to go too much into detail, but ended up being, um, a really bad laceration down below and so it was over an hour repair for that and then right at shift change I had to go back with 32 week twins and they literally got reported at 6.30 we went back at 6.53 and it was just the craziest shift and so last night was a little bit better of a night I just had like a delivery and an induction so it wasn't too bad but I tried to wake up today at like 2.30 to hopefully get my body back into the swing of things. Going on night shift, I feel like I could literally fall asleep right now and it's six o'clock so I've got some coffee to try and get me till at least eight or nine o'clock tonight. Probably not the best idea with the coffee but I think I'll sleep either way just because of how tired I am after this stretch. So yeah, anyways, I figured I would just take you guys through like the end of this vlog with um, kind of like me trying to flip back to a normal schedule. I think the hardest day is definitely the day where you get off in the morning. So I got off my fourth shift this morning, slept from like nine to 2.30. And usually after like a long stretch of shift when I was working days, I would sleep like 10 or 12 hours that night, but I don't wanna do that because then I'll be up at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. tonight and then I'll be up all night. So you kind of have to, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. I feel like some people end up staying up all day. Some people try to stay up to the morning and then go to sleep later on in the afternoon and then just sleep through the whole night. What I try to do is get to sleep as soon as I get home and then get up early 
have myself a day for like the second half of the day and then flip back to a normal schedule that evening with going to bed like at a decent hour I definitely think like I said I will sleep very very good tonight because I am very tired but my boyfriend is on his way over I think we're gonna go ahead and do some teppanyaki again I think I added at the beginning of this vlog the videos of us at my brother's graduation like three weeks ago so I feel like this is kind of all over the place. I don't go to Tempanyaki all the time, but it's like definitely one of my favorite things to eat. So we're gonna go do that. And then I'll probably take Brady on a walk tonight. I have missed him so much. And that's pretty much the plan right now. I'm trying to clean up my apartment a little bit just because when I'm on a stretch of shifts that is that long, I never end up like doing any laundry or dishes. So I just did my dishes and we're doing some laundry. <laughs> cutest doggy ever <laughs> I just played with him for the last 10 minutes and he's like so excited still huh okay last night vlogging after teppanyaki it just ended up being a fail I was so tired I literally took a bath and went right to bed but we're gonna end it off here tonight I'm going out to dinner with a friend I just got my nails done so for this time around I did something a little bit different. I don't know if it's even gonna focus, we'll see. Um, I did OPI Funny Bunny two coats and then put it in neutral over top. And it's just like a neutral white and I really like it. And then tonight I'm gonna do my whole self tan shebang. So I just feel like good about myself for the next couple of days off of work. I swear a fresh manicure and a self tan just makes everything better. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready for dinner now and then when I get back later, I'll take a shower, self tan, do all the things. Okay, I figured I'd show you guys a little outfit of the night. Nothing special, nothing that crazy. Honestly, pretty casual. I just have on this Nordstrom Rack bodysuit with a bra, obviously strapless underneath. You can kind of see through it, but whatever. And then I have these shorts from Amazon and these Steve Madden flip-flops. Hair is in a slicked bun. Just because it is so hot in Arizona, it officially has hit over 110s. Today was 111. This weekend is supposed to be over 117. Um, so it's just kind of miserable. So that's why I'm wearing my hair up. And then I just have these Lily Clasp um, gold hoops from Revolve. And that's pretty much my outfit. So I will check in with you guys probably at dinner.